in the Oval what? Office with the president. They in have any capacity, Elon Musk being not just a gatekeeper agenda. The in time, the ceremony is one thing. These are ceremonies that have been cultivated over a period of time that don't inure any approval to this man's agenda. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't rubber stamp, sign off on or agree with Elon Musk being not just a gatekeeper, watchkeeper, but nowhere near the government of the United Would States. Would they in have any capacity. Osama bin so, Laden so sitting what, down with, in the Oval what? Office with the president? Oh, 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 Listen, Would they have had oh, Osama? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She going AWOL. This, now that's the Angela Rye. There she, and Rye is Ryan. <laughs> Rye I'm a bin Laden. Laden. If Osama bin Oval Laden office, were elected, sitting down with the president. Well, can if I can Osama I just bring bin point out a point of This man is a I, I, terrorist. Guys, this this isn't that. That's I'm not sorry. the point. All I'm saying is, is we can go off the cliff. It is the point. It is we can, absolutely can, the point. She's going AWOL. Well, can, well, well, we well let me hear Andrew. Let me hear what you have to say, Andrew. You can go off the cliff. I'm not off the cliff. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I always be thinking when you see these people. When they, when, when you clearly see this man is trying to talk, y'all are on the same side. Why are you over talking him? And it don't got nothing to do with her being a woman. Just shut up. Never ever ever get power again. You can, you That's can, where you can, we are. No, that isn't well, where we are look, because Angela we have to not control ourselves. He very well could fight. be. He said so this for, was the last election. But Angela, Angela. I, you are smart. However, your wisdom does not supplant that of all of the American people who went out and voted. And unfortunately, I've had to subject myself to the same damn thing. You don't think I'm hurt? I felt awful. I felt humiliated. I'm not questioning and, your no, 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 pain, no, no. I'm going to finish. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. That's the only thing she heard out of what he said. My point. And ashamed that I had to call a guy. And who I don't respect, who I don't like, and anything else, and concede a race for governor. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good to Kamala either. She had she had warned the country of what a fact. It didn't feel so good that she didn't even come out that night. <laughs> Kamala didn't even have the balls to, to, to greet her people that night. People came out, came out to support her. She couldn't even come out ashes looked like and it was him in standing form yet she picked up the phone she made the call because that's what mature democracies do now two things we we don't want to conflate two different things do you think kamala harris is rubber stamped and signed off on his policies on I elon musk or any of the above her. i no, said you didn't the name check Oval her office. but it is important. no i didn't even bring up List, her concession this is call. why but you didn't, I didn't but i did i did not you and did i'm not, saying you did i not, asked the question angela but about i did the presidential if transition act why. of 1963 and the Oval why. office meeting not being statutory yeah, Rye is Ryan. <laughs> Statutorily required. Again. That Andrew, finish your point. Finish your point. Because you're, like you're no, talking about the I don't want to be. I don't want to be you, labeled as saying something else. I didn't but, say but, anything but about your concession call. I didn't say else? anything. Look at her. Look at her. Unhinged. Think about but I, I think Andrew's call. making a different point. So, Andrew, but finish your point. it's not okay to say that I essentially but you can, suggested you can that assign, when you didn't want to have anything assign, suggested to you either. You can, assign, you can assign me saying that the president should attend inauguration and host the incoming president at the White House as being a rubber stamp of Elon Musk? Never said that. I did but not say it. anything about Elon Musk. Let me get back Musk. to the point, though. That Let me get Tiffany. back to the point, if I could. The, 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 the point is, we can still oh, disagree with this man vehemently and the fight still remains. Him sitting down for an hour long coffee is not what we are really taking issue with. What we are really going to be taking issue with is when he starts lining people up and marching him out of this country. When he comes in my neighborhood for my children, for my family, for my way of life, that that th those he's not coming for your children. He is probably going to be rounding some people up, but they shouldn't have been here in the first place. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's just the truth of the matter. Countries have laws. There's no, there's nowhere in the world where you can just march into a country as an illegal alien and still just, just go about willy-nilly and just think everything going to be sweet. Nowhere. Nowhere. It's nowhere.
Those are the fights and we have to gear up and, and to bring us back to what the question was, it was how we are going to strategize around our fight back against this man. And I fight back. Ooh, what does that mean? I appreciated the brother mentioning the fact that we can't just say we're going to wait and see what happens. Why? Because other people in other communities have the privilege of wait and see. But for us, wait and see what happens means immunity for law enforcement officers who then go out and slaughter our children. If Conditional immunity. Qualified immunity. It's not just they're not going to be going out and slaughtering, slaughtering black people. Look, I know that people love to say that it's a myth. It's not true. It's not true. They're not just going to be going around slaughtering black people just like they aren't going around slaughtering black people now. It's a, it's a fact. Like, come on. I get I get the talking points, but at the end of the day, the gener is it, bordering on degeneracy. Police are not going around just slaughtering people. You need to stop lying to people because a lot of people, no, if we go if we're really going to be real, I'm just going to be honest, man. Look, cuz this really this really pisses me off. Cuz it's a lot of people who need police. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people who are in situations where they need police. They need help. And they're not going to get them because these idiots, these idiots are, 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 are convincing people that they can't trust police. These people are convincing people. They're lying to people. It's it's not true. It's not true. Are there some bad police officers? Yes. Are police officers in mass going out and slaughtering black people? No. Tell the truth. I'm I'm sorry. It just pisses me off. Stop lying to people. It means food and food uh, uh, support programs not getting to the people who need it most, and so on and so on and so on. So, so, so those battles, I have no resignation on any of them. We will fight those as they come and before they get here. But we litigated the fact that this man is a fascist in the election. The voters had the opportunity to consume that and make a decision as to whether or not they cared. And they didn't believe that he was a fascist. That's the truth. So as much as Angela Rye wants to go AWOL and as much as you guys want to be upset and butthurt about it, it's the truth. People didn't buy what you were selling. And we don't get to supplant our knowledge, our will, our want over a democratic practice like an election. That Facts. Facts. And that's the problem. A lot of leftists want to impose. It's not enough that they have their beliefs in their views. They want to impose them onto you. They want to impose them onto you. And it's not cool. It's not cool. That's why we call them the loony left. That, that was my point. And so I, certain norms that must be kept issue. to. Look at her. It didn't even, none of that resonated. None of it. Look at her. She just, she, she I hate to say it. Angela Rye, you acting like a hyena right now. You are displaying hyena behavior right now. It's unbecoming. That they, wasn't an issue. Certain norms, some things, when they're when things are not normal, norms go out the window. And I appreciate your perspective. I am not saying, nor have I ever said that my wisdom, my knowledge, my limited experience takes every single voter, the millions, the millions of people that voted for Donald Trump or the millions of people that voted for Kamala Harris. I'm not trying to supplant any of that. What I'm saying is there comes a time where we have to question the pageantry and determine if the pageantry is worth our credibility. That is what I'm asking. If we have said this man is a fascist, if we have said democracy is on the line, if we have said the things that we know and have relied upon for government support and programming will be no more. And we throw all of that out the window so that Joe Biden can skin and grin. It's OK, Mama. Mama knows it's the world's smallest violin and I'm playing it for you. Da, 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 da. In a meeting with this man who was mugging the camera, he's still in character. 
But do but you we think Joe Biden? Wa- do you think Joe Biden? I'm not wants talking to have about to what he there? wanted to do. I'm talking Let about what the he did. Man talk. But what he did it ain't about what, what he wanted he to did, do. It's about what, what he, he did. did was demonstrate. See, this is the problem when y'all dudes get on these get on these panels and have these conversations with women, and then y'all try to be all nice and friendly with them, and friendly with them, and I I might be a hypocrite soon. But we'll see about that. But uh, y'all, you gotta understand, like this is this is hyena behavior. It is not Joe Biden's personal will toward Donald Trump, but the will and the and hyenas can behave the way that hyenas behave because there are male hyenas empowering them. Graciousness and the magnanimity of the office of president, and just because one derelict Donald Trump yeah, has no. no respect for democracies and our norms doesn't mean that we are then equal by abandoning them right along with them. I think Andrew, that if he took- and you know what, like I said, I, I don't agree with the, the, I don't agree with Democrats in, in general, but I respect him for that stance because it just goes back to what I said. At least he has integrity. Just because if you really believe in what you say you believe in and whether somebody else does it, if you know that you shouldn't steal, then just because somebody else steals and get away gets away with it doesn't mean that you're going to start going out and stealing now. You you know it's wrong. So can oath, I, w- I would like for us to pull up the, the presidential oath. Well, because I think that it's actually a violation of the presidential oath to sit down and meet with this man. I well, do. I that why. that I guess it gets worse. So that, I, really I, I think that that's an opinion, but I I think Andrew, it is my from, opinion. I said I think yeah, that, Angela, I hear you. Number one, okay, cool. Uh, I'm, so, I said, but I'm just saying, there's no need to shout. I hear you. Look at her; she's unhinged. Now she's just being confrontational, just confrontational. What did we talk about when we watched the pop the balloon yesterday? Disagreeable. <laughs> she's disagreeable you and nobody is attacking that you, you i understand i'm not i don't feel attacked and i'm not I, attacking any I of y'all charged, my volume guys. is my passion I, I, I okay i just want us all to have like a mature exchange of everything because right now i'm so passionate it's okay mature passion. Well, I, I, okay I, I, look at her <laughs> i have siphoned off on it my volume is my passion I, I, okay i'm just saying there's no need to shout i hear you and nobody is attacking you i understand i'm not i don't feel attacked and i'm not attacking any of y'all my volume is my passion okay i just want us all to have like a mature exchange of everything because right now i'm so passionate it's okay (laughs) look at her she's so disagreeable the woman is trying to moderate Well, I I, I have siphoned off on occasion. Angela, you siphoned off on occasion. Tiffany, you will siphon off on on an occasion because this is a highly charged moment. And I understand that all of us are all of us have strong (laughs) opinions about how we feel. I just want us to be respectful to each other's point. Andrew, I hear your point. Angela, I hear your point. I have something.